Hello everyone. <coughs> this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo again. We're here at the uh, at the uh, tooth number is number three and we're doing a little repair of number two right next door but this is our tooth now. And you can see the tunnel preparation that we've committed to doing to give our patient a little stronger mesial marginal ridge right there. So here's our tunnel prep and we've already placed the vitrobon material so we're going to go ahead and etch the tooth okay and we're going to do a total etch and we try to cover all the vital areas that we're going to bond to We had to use a uh, this particular band, a Tophamar band. It's 0 0.0015 uh, of an inch thick. Let's go ahead and rinse that now. Uh, and just keep rinsing. Okay, that's good. Let me just take a look, see how we did. That looks great. Now we're going to apply tubeless sieve. So we did our 37% phosphoric acid. Now we're coming in with tubeless sieve as our chelator. And we'll let that stay 15 seconds. And it keeps that dentin nice and moist for us to bond to. Uh, I've gone with plastic wedges here. I know that the mesial contact is going to have to be held. I'm going without any tines. Basically this is a very large buildup and we've got to keep the gingival area very precisely sealed. So that's our first attempt. We'll probably end up mixing two uh, two mixes of core paste. Now we're adding the dentin bonding agent. This particular one is all bond three. So we're going to generously add that. Notice we've kind of lowered the light a little bit now on our procedure. So we don't want to cause any premature bonding. That's good. One more coat will do it. And we're using that suction device. That's actually a Tipidilly suction device. And uh, after we dry this, I'll show you what that little suction device looks like and how it works. And we're just going to go ahead and dry this thoroughly. putting in our bonding agent. And this is the bonding resin. Oh, and that gets painted very generously all the way throughout all the areas that are exposed, all those dentinal areas. All right, then we know we can't leave it that thick, so we have to thin that out. It's important. Get it very thin. So you have uh, minimized the interface with maximizing the bonding strength. Okay, we're going to go ahead and light cure that first before we do any mixing. We're using a Demetron 400 uh, uh, Optilux because we want to make sure we're 
curing the entire spectrum of light. We're just comfortable in using this. I'm sure you can use an LED today, but we don't want to mess with success. Uh, we're doing quite well with that. We probably will eventually move over to the LEDs that are on the market. Now I just want to show you real quick what this little Tipidilly suction device looks like. And uh, thank you, Maria. This is it. I'll let me just. Yeah. It has a two-way valve. Uh, as you can see, we slide the plastic over the valve. The valve allows the air to come in and out of the uh, suction device, and so you can increase the, the amount of suction by plugging the holes and decreasing it by either plugging one or un undoing both. All right. So turn on the suction again. Right. So here it is. If you're near tissue and you don't want to suction up, uh, say, a lip, leave both valves open. If you want to get a little more out of suction, or, and that's maximizing your suction. So there it is. Call the Tipidilly. You can get it at any of the supply stores, dental supply stores. We're going to go ahead and mix our composite core paste. I'm using. Uh, Demet core paste from Ultradent. You can use others. And Anna, just turn your head a little bit toward me. That's good. And move into a little. We can now turn the light up. That's not light curable, it's auto curable or self curable. Alrighty. There we go. There's our tunnel prep. And we'll squeeze a little bit out first and then go all the way down in there into this zone and just start just slowly injecting and moving the tip around, preventing any air entrapment. And Slowly moving the tip. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you put one mix of core paste into a really difficult area. Very nicely done, Maria. I'm just going to hold that contact. Open up just a little bit wider. Slide that out for me. Yeah. I just want to keep everybody in focus. That's great. So I'm just holding that. Uh, that's good. holding the contact in place. Now the only thing is I don't know is how long it's taken this material to set. So we'll let it go another half a minute or so and uh, uh, some nice things about using a microscope is um, doing these tunnel preparations are not easy. You can't do them all the time. You, know, you may have a fracture in enamel. You might have a problem somewhere where you, you can't, you just can't use them. Well, w with a microscope you can actually go in and see so much more that's undermining the enamel. You can go in and actually take it out, clean it out of there and, and stay conservative. Okay, I'm going to let go and I'm going to start to polish this. So again, I hope you enjoyed this short segment on uh, building up this tooth. I've got to take care of this little repair back here, but that's really nothing. Uh, just wanted to make sure you had an idea what that tunnel preparation looked like. And uh, if you have any questions about that, just feel free to give me a call at the office here at 561-391-6290. Uh, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I know I did. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. For